Okay, looks like we are live. Just want to verify if we are really live on YouTube. Just need to check. If you can see me and hear me properly, just let me know in the chat. Okay, looks like I'm live and yes, so I can uh, see myself on YouTube. Just also need to verify if I'm properly audible. If I'm properly audible. Yes, the audio looks also good. Let's get started. So yeah, uh, live after a long time, but today I'm here to play a quiz. So all set for the quiz, everyone. Again, a, a, a fun quiz just to see how much Java you know. And it's been a long time I have uh, went live. So I thought, let's connect once again. Oh, good to see your chat there. <clears throat> So let me also get the chat on the screen. Okay, uh, Lava Kumar says, yes, but where's the link? Yes, I will share the link, uh, how to join the quiz in some time. Just want to make sure that everyone is there so that uh, once we have enough number on the live, we can uh, see that. Oh, thank you so much, Knowledge Ocean. Yeah, hey, good evening, crazy shots. Hey, hi, VS, I'm good. All good, how about you? Okay, Akshay says, I just started today with your playlist. So oh, that's good to know. And let me also know in the, in the comments of the videos uh, if you're enjoying it or not. Okay, Pawan says, is it Menti? Yes, it's, it's Menti. On the other screen, I do have Menti started. But uh, let's see. Let's, let's get everyone on board and then we can start. Uh, yes, I know you're waiting for it. So probably next week, uh, that's what we are planning for. The thing is, last this week, Heather was not well. Last week, I uh, we were busy with something else, some other videos. And things are getting just postponed. It. Yeah, but we want to do marathon. That's something we enjoyed last time. Sitting there for seven hours, and it was fun. How is the weather in Bangalore? It's good. It's fun playing a quiz with you every time. Oh, that's what I enjoy. Okay, so let me know once you're all set, I can start. So let me know in the chat, you know, say yes or I'm ready so that I can start with the menti. Uh, what are the prizes? No prizes for this time. Maybe next time when I do a menti. Uh, so at least I want to do one menti per week now. I'm two at least uh, for a few days before Diwali. Uh, so no, no menti, no uh, prizes for this time. Okay, looks like you are all set. Let me share the screen. And okay, so basically this quiz will be played on Mentimeter. And the way you join this quiz is very simple. You can take out your phone. I will show you a QR code. Just scan the QR code. Otherwise, if the QR code is not working, you can use your uh, browser and go to the web page I will, which I will talk about. So I'm sharing my screen. Three, two, one, 
here we go. So showing the screen, and if you can see, there is a menti code, a QR code, which you can see there. Agangana says, here I'm surrounded with Durga Puja and attending your quiz all. That will be fun. I don't know how will you listen to my commentary. Okay, so uh, again, how to join this Mentimeter? It's very simple. You can just take out your phone scan the QR code which you can see on the screen or if the QR is not working, go to your browser, enter this URL which is menti.com and it will ask you for a code. Just mention the code which is you can see on the screen which is 27861962 and you will be in. And once you join, hit that thumbs up button so that I will know that you have joined. Okay, Praveen, hey, hi Praveen. Yeah, it's been a long time we have not connected. Um, Let's connect again. I have some more ideas. We can work together. Do you know Telugu? Yes, I can manage. Not fluent, but I can manage. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so just waiting for 200. Once we reach 200, uh, we'll start the quiz. Or should I say 250? Because 200 is, is going very fast. And let me know if you're watching our videos. So I'm uploading new videos every, I mean, every few days for DSA and uh, Initially, a lot of people showed excitement, but the moment I went advanced, uh, the views are going down because people don't want to learn advanced part. Yeah, so once you join the Menti, uh, it will not show you anything. It will just uh, say you are in. And if you can see the thumbs up button there, just hit that thumbs up button so that I will know that you're there in the Menti. So 230 people already joined. Uh, sure, Pravin will connect soon, maybe in upcoming week. Are you planning to start a new course? So there's no live batch coming now for a few months is because we're already running two live batches. Uh, but we are parallelly starting a recorded course batch. You can see the things in description or in the pinned comment. And also, if you like this type of videos, this, this type of mentees, quiz, hit that like button so that they will know that you enjoy this. And also, YouTube will know that something is good is happening on YouTube, so they will promote the videos. So it's important to hit that like button. <clears throat> okay, now this, this will be good for you because you will be knowing a lot of things. Okay, so it's time to start the Menti. So hit that like button on, on YouTube. Once it crosses 100, I don't know why I'm getting so greedy today. Uh, it's been a long time I went on live on YouTube, so I just want to make sure that everything is good. Hit that like, make, make sure it is crossing 100, and I'm going to start the quiz. The first question you will see in some time. Okay, it's crossed. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the first thing you will see on the screen is not the question. I just want to know from where you are. And I don't know where I clicked. Okay, no issue. So I need to click here. Yep. So let me know from where you are watching this, your city, any place from where, so maximum I can say Pune, 
It should be Bangalore actually, but then Bangalore has multiple spellings now. We've got two different names. Some people go with the new name, <coughs> Bangalore. Some people go with the old name, Bangalore or Bangalore. Uh, but I can see people watching this from Hyderabad maximum. Some people are saying YouTube. Yeah, I know the confusion, but Chennai, Bangalore, Bengaluru. So I think the winner is Bangalore because I can see two names, huge. Next is Hyderabad, then we got Pune. Uh, some people are watching from laptop. Are you sitting on laptop? Of course, yeah. I can see Kolapura as well, Varangal, Vishakapatnam, Vezak, Guntur, Tamil Nadu, Nizamabad, Kakinara, Rajmundri, Peshawar, Salem. Okay, that's nice. Home. A lot of people are watching this from home. Suraj from Karachi. Great. So people are joining from all over the world, is it? Oh, the, the problem is in US it's night time. I don't know how anyone will watch it from the other part of the world. You know, we should do a mentee in the night time as well so that people from the... It got stuck. Okay. Yeah, there's a balloon on the screen. I don't know what went wrong. Just say a second. Camera on off. How do we off the camera from, who is this? Got stuck. You know, this is the problem with the Mac OS. I don't know if you can see my, see my face. It's just that I did this or something. If you can reconnect the cable, let's try that. It's stuck. Just a second guys, I can't change my camera. How can I delete? Hmm? Mm, this one. Okay, I think we need to play this without my face. I can't share my face, unfortunately. But no issue, let's do this and let's try to solve this. Yeah, it looks unique. <laughs> Can you try one more time? No, it's not working. I mean, reconnect the cables. Oh, it looks like I'm turning into Hulk. It's working now. I just need to make sure this is circle. Okay. So this is the this is the problem with the Mac OS where if I do some gestures, it creates a reaction, and it, because of that, it got stuck. Anyway, now it looks good. Let's start with the questions. All set for the questions, everyone. Okay. Majority Kerala now, Hyderabad, Pune, uh, Kashmir. Is it you are entering multiple times so that it will come up fast? Okay, so here we go. 
<coughs> so the first question, in total we have 26 questions today. And uh, the first question will be coming on your screen, but make sure that you have, uh, you enter your correct name there. But if you, because if you don't enter your correct name, it will not work. I mean, it will work, but then we can't decide the actual winners. Okay, once you have done that, hit that like button or thumbs up button on uh, Menti so that I will know that you have entered your name. Okay, looks like you have entered your name and here we go. So the first question everyone coming on the screen is this. Which file extension is used for Java files? So when you're playing this, it, the time will be different for YouTube and the, the time you play for Menti. Uh, because on YouTube, there's a delay. Okay, majority of you are saying Java and that is correct. I can see two or three entries for JH and J file. That's fine, maybe you're trying to do this faster. Okay, Freedom Seeker says Mac is acting like Windows. True. Sometimes it does that. <clears throat> okay, question number two coming on your screen. What is the purpose of the main method in a Java program? Again, just to let you know, uh, it's not just about the right answer, it's about also how fast you answer this because the score is dependent upon the, your, your speed as well. Okay, majority of you are saying to provide the starting point for a Java program and that is correct. And let's see the leaderboard. Okay, who is winning in the first round? In the first round I can see Saurabh, sorry, it's Abdullah on the top fastest for this round. Great job, Abdullah. Uh, we got Sora, Praveen, Ratnapal, Bindu, Mahesh, Shushmit, who am I? And that's a good name. Uh, Manideep and Venkatesh. <coughs> Let me know your current ranking because I think you can see the ranking on, on your screen as on mobile. I can only see top 10 in this list. But let me know. Uh, your ranking here. Okay, so people who joined the uh, Menti late, what you can do is, uh, if you want to join this Menti, and if you join, if you have joined the uh, session late, you can just scan the QR code to join this uh, Menti. Of course, you can give the answer on YouTube, but it will not be much fun if you want to enjoy this. Join the Menti, you know, uh, make sure that you scan the QR code to be in. Uh, if the QR code is not working, you can open your browser and go to menti.com and mention that code. Okay, Praveen says rank 20. Udit says, Udit, are you the same person who is following from a long time? Because I know this name, Udit, not, Udit Arora. Cool. Next question coming on your screen. Question number three. And here we go. Which of the following is not a primitive data type in Java? This should be easy. Okay. Six. Okay. Almost everyone voted. Let's see what you're saying. Okay, majority of you are saying string and that is correct. Uh, why byte? Byte is a primitive type, right? So we have byte, int, boolean, character, I mean char, 
uh, double, long. So we have so many types, which are primitive types. Okay, question number four coming on your screen. Here we go. Which is the default data type for decimal values in Java? So decimal means point values, like real values, real numbers. <coughs> Time up. Majority of you are saying double and that is correct. So basically if you want to store point values, we store that in double. I think my face is hiding the question on YouTube. I should move it. Yeah. Okay, question number five coming on your screen everyone. And here we go. And here we go. What happens when a class is declared as final? Okay, time up. Majority of you are saying it cannot be inherited by other classes and that is correct. Good job. Just a second. Yeah, looks good now. Okay, question number six coming on your screen. Here we go. Can we override a method that is declared with a final keyword? That's right. So once you declare a method as, <coughs> method as final, uh, you can't override it. Great. And I think we have a leaderboard now, and there's a fly, just flying near me. Okay, so let's see who did well in this round. It's who am I? Who are you? Let me know in the chat. Who is this who am I? Uh, then we got uh, Kent. Devesh, uh, Abdullah, Venkatesh, Abdullah just went down for fourth position. Uh, Venkatesh, Nizamabad, Nikita, Sunita, Sri Lata, and so we got two person from Nizamabad. I think in the last quiz as well, these two people were there. Okay. Who am I? Who is you? Who is who am I here? Okay, is it Philip? Okay, good job, Philip. Question number seven, coming on your screen. Here we go. How do we declare a 2D jagged array in Java? At least read the options properly. Oh, see when you say 2D array, or maximum people went for the first option that is correct for 2D array. But then we have an option of jagged array here. So when you say jagged array, the number of rows are fixed, the columns are not. Okay, so it's the third option here, which is correct. Okay, so yeah, happens. Now, anyone playing this game and you are not in top 10, if you feel that you're not going to win, don't worry, people will make mistakes. You just give right answers. Keep giving right answers. Okay, Shivam says, didn't read uh, jagged. Yeah, happens. And that's why I read the question properly, take your time and then answer. Okay, question number eight coming on your screen. What is an array in Java? Array is interface, 
is it let's see what you are saying okay majority of you are saying object and that is correct okay uh, paresh paramesh is asking for the link for this let me see if i can copy this so i'm pasting the link in youtube comments or YouTube chat, not comments. Did it got pasted? Yeah. So if you can also use this link to join this mentee. Okay, question number nine. Coming on your screen, and here we go. Where are the arrays typically stored in a memory in Java? And time up. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> so much of confusion. So when you say the array objects, they are stored in heap. The moment you say object, object goes into heap, right? Okay, and now let's see. So I can see uh, Krant and Sai Kiran doing good. Uh, but who is the first? It's, it's Nergis. Good job, Nargis. Nargis, are you the same person who is in the batch? I guess second batch, industry ready. Uh, we got Krant and Sai Kiran, top two, uh, top three in top three. We got Who Am I Fastest, but just went down. Uh, then we got Pushpa, Devesh, Naveen, Naveen. So we got two Naveens there. Are you using two different phones at the same time? We got uh, Yashwant. Okay, Udit says went from 45th from uh, 146. Good job. And so that's how you can jump. You know, maybe you can come in top 10. Okay, sorry. Just a second, everyone. Just a second. That is, it's my society gate. I have a visitor. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, Hush is saying I'm hiding questions, is it? Yeah, I have moved my position, Hush. Hush is still watching from the start. Uh, Sujan says I came from 20, 127 to 57. Yeah, that's how you jump the ranking. You can still do it, Shivam. Okay, we, we, we have a lot of questions there. Uh, so 10th question. You can see we have 17 questions to go. So 10th question coming on your screen. And here we go. Which method is used to change the internal name of a thread in Java? Yeah, we are going a bit complex now. So we also have questions on uh, Hibernate, JDBC, some Spring, if I'm not wrong. Okay, majority of you are saying set name and that is correct. So that's how you change the name of a thread. Question number 11 coming on your screen. Here we go. What is the purpose of using the notify all method? Uh, to notify all the waiting threads and that is correct. Good job. So you people do know Java properly. Good to know that. It's just that sometimes you're not reading questions properly. Okay, question number 12, is it? How is the thread execution controlled? Is it by the programmer? Is it by the user? Is it by the thread scheduler? Is it by the operating system? 
I'm sure there will be multiple options. Multiple, you will be going here, there, everywhere. Oh, no. Good job. So majority of you are saying thread scheduler and that is correct. So as a programmer, we can suggest uh, what sequence we want. You can set the priority, but then thread scheduler says, let me take care of it. Okay, uh, so there was a question. Do you teach all these questions in your course? I mean, yeah, so in our course we teach, we don't teach questions, but then we cover everything in Java which is used to make projects. Yeah, so if you want to check it out, you can check description uh, for the course detail. Uh, this is not a live course, this is a recorded course. The problem we, we faced before with the live course is uh, with the time. So when we schedule a live course, let's say, 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. We are scheduling for IST and then people all over the world has to adjust with that time. <clears throat> and even if we say 9 p.m., some people are not able to make it to the uh, to the live session and they watch the recording later. So we thought, okay, let me just uh, create something for those people who are not able to attend live sessions. So we are creating a course where you get everything recorded, but not everything in one go. Basically, you get uh, a set of topics per week which you have to learn and then whatever doubts you have on that you can ask in the doubt solving sessions which will be happening live uh, did menti stuck no it's not stuck it's just that i have not moved to the next page yeah if, if it stuck on your page on your mobile just refresh the page okay you want the link for the page so i'm sharing the link once again for the menti if you want to join Why your courses are so expensive? Maybe you can ask question like why BMW car is expensive? Why iPhones are expensive? You will get one answer, quality. Okay, question number 13 coming on your screen. Which method can be used to pause the execution of a thread for a specified amount of time? Okay, so majority of you are saying sleep and that is correct. Yes, we can also use wait, but in wait you have to specify the time. By default, we don't do that. We specify, we simply say wait and then we use notify to notify that. But in terms of sleep, we specify the time as well. Yeah, it is with me. Yeah, they're not expensive actually, but Okay. <laughs> See, I don't want, I'm not sure about how they are making it, but is it the live course? Or if it is recorded, the course price, which we have said is 3999, which is less than 5K if I'm not wrong. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Joy. Okay, cool. Uh, next. Okay, let's see the leaderboard. Who is doing well this time? I can see some new names coming up, which is Hanson, uh, Shushmita, and Navin just went down. Manish V just came into top four. We got Pushpa as well. And uh, people from Nizamabad is not leaving the top, top three positions. And Uday Kumar just went on second position. That's great. Hey, thank you so much, Aditya. Okay, question number 14. 
coming up on screen. Okay, which Java framework is commonly used for managing dependencies and performing dependency injection? And time up, it's Spring Framework. So basically we can use Hibernate for ORM frameworks, which is for database, Java FX for creating GUIs, and Swing is also for GUI. But if we talk about Spring, it is majorly used for dependency injection. Okay, question number 15, coming on your screen, and here we go. What is dependency injection in Java? Okay, a design pattern that separates object creation from its usage. So basically, dependency injection is a part of IOC. See, what happens in Java when you uh, work on the project, you have to build business logic, right? But when you implement the logic, you have to create objects. Now, when you create an object, that means you are handling everything. So what we do is we give that task to someone else to create the object. Example, let's say in this world, if I want to make a video, to make a video, I need a camera, I need a mic, I need all the lights, right, everything. So I will not be creating this gadget for myself. I will not go to my uh, desk and by saying, okay, I want to build my own camera, I want to build my own mic. Basically, I have given this task to the, to the world by saying, hey world, I need a camera. Yes, of course, I will pay for it, but I need a camera. Uh, so that's how basically you are giving the control of the object creation to someone else. Okay, question number 16 will be coming on your screen. Oh, thank you so much, Ed. Which annotation is used to specify the retention policy for an annotation? Now this is a bit complex maybe. Let's see if we can answer this. Okay, time up. Oh, okay, so you know this, that's good. So basically we can use annotation which is retention or maybe just what you went with the name, retention itself. Okay, so let's see the leaderboard and do we have any changes? So people from Nizamabad are still doing good. Do we have any changes? Top three, no change. It's Krant, uh, Uday and Sai Kiran. Nargis is also there. Manish, we fastest for this round. And Yashwant, we got some name here, which is uh, Jabela X Raj. Is it Raj, your name? We got Abdullah back on top 10. We got Nikita and Praveen. Okay, you can still join the mentee. You can just go to your browser. Open, I mean, open your browser, go to mentee.com and mention the code which you can see on the top. Here, if you can see, no, no. Here, up. Okay, the plugin is 19th, 
Southern says 88, not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. You're playing against uh, hundreds, 300 maybe. Oh, thank you, Mahesh. Okay, why is not pronouncing Ukraine? Because Nikit is the first name. I'm not even pronouncing Sul Sultana here, or not even, uh, or, okay, V, I'm just saying Mahesh. We need controversy everywhere. <clears throat> okay, question number 17 coming on your screen. Uh, which class is used to read character stream in Java? Okay, so <laughs> the answer is file reader and options are going everywhere. No problem. Yeah, some, sometimes questions can be confusing. Okay, question number 18 coming on your screen. Uh, what does the version play in Maven dependencies? Okay, now we are just going for some other topic. Oh, okay. So basically, we can use version to define uh, to define the version of a referenced external library. But people also vote it for it indicates the version of Java. No, no. So, so inside the dependency tag, when you mention version, then it, you're talking about the version for the library. Uh, you can also spec specify the version of Java in a separate field, but th that's not a part of dependency tag. <coughs> Okay, so we got seven more questions to go. Yeah, I hope seven, nine, six, eight more questions to go. And here we go. What is a full form of POM? So basically, uh, in Maven, we're talking about, in Maven, what POM stands for? Three, two, one, time up. Yeah, that's right. So Maven stands for, or POM stands for Project Object Model. Okay, question number 20, coming on your screen. In Java 8, what is a main feature introduced for handling functional programming? Uh, Pragya, use the link which I mentioned in the chat. Okay, time up and majority of you are saying stream API and that is correct. So let's see the leaderboard. Any changes here? Looks like Krant and uh, Sai Kiran just went down and Uday Kumar is doing well. Are you there in the chat, Uday? Uh, we got Manish, Nikita, Yashwant, Nargis, Suraj, new entry, uh, Shushmita, and others. So Sai Kiran, Krant being consistent here, even Nikita in top 10, Nargis in top 10, and Uday, Manish. Okay. Good job. Question number 21 coming on your screen. And here we go. 
What is the primary purpose of L1 cache in Hibernate? Ashutosh says joined late but got 3 one fourth rank. It was fun. I hope you are still playing. Okay, so basically we use L1 cache to store the data retrieved from database. That's right. And Uday is here. Great. <clears throat> Question number 12 coming on your screen. In which context does a proxy object gets created in Hibernate? Oh, so we are going advanced now. We are moving into Hibernate. Okay. So basically we use proxy object when you have lazy loading. So there are different methods available to get data. So we have load, we have get. Oh God, this will make sense. So we also have a Hibernate playlist on YouTube. If you want to explore, you can explore that. Okay, question number 23 coming on your screen. Which of the following executes, uh, execute methods can be used to execute any SQL statement, whether it is select or non-select? Southern says, I don't know Hibernate. Okay, so what I will do is next time, let's only keep it for Java, only keep it for Hibernate, only keep it for Spring. Okay, time up. The method name is execute. Execute query will give you the results. So that is used for the select query. But if you want to execute select or non-select as well, you can use execute method. Okay, let's see the leaderboard. Do we have any changes here? Okay, looks like the top five made the mistake, but still it's not making much changes. Uday is still doing good. Uh, we got Shushmita, second, Nikita, Yashwant, Grant, uh, Sai Kiran, Manish, Anonymous, the new entry. Uh, Alex, fastest for this round, and Suraj on 10th position. Great. Uh, what is Hibernate? Basically, Hibernate is a tool, a ORM tool to store data in database. And it's it's more of a magic when you try to implement it. So try it out. Uh, Spring and Spring Boot are same. No, they're different. Uh, Spring Boot runs on Spring. I feel bad, I don't know anything. Maybe you have you have learned some other languages. And if not, it's time to learn something. Okay, NG code says I'm anonymous. Great. So how many people are watching on YouTube now? Okay, hit that like button if you're watching this on YouTube. So that YouTube will promote the videos to others as well. Okay, so we got uh, three more questions. 24, 25, 26. There are three more questions and let's see how well you're go going to do. Uh, in JDBC, what is batch processing? And one time up. 
So execute multiple SQL statements in single batch and that is correct. Okay, two more questions. Are you all set? Come on, the, we need to be, we, you need to make sure that you are in top 10 and doesn't matter what is your ranking, if the top 10 makes mistakes, you will get a chance to come ahead. <clears throat> what is the purpose of JDBC driver manager class? Okay, time up. So it's to manage the database drivers. Okay, last question everyone. Coming on your screen. Okay, before we go down, there's a question from Durga. Uh, Anna, only DSA is not gonna work. What else we should learn? So basically with DSA, you have to also learn one technology, which is, which you can showcase to your, uh, whenever you go for the interviews. See, DSA is not the first thing. The first thing is doing to have, you need to have one skill set. Uh, doesn't matter which programming language, but you should be able to build projects. So learn a language, learn a framework, understand how data works understand how computer works, understand how to store data in database, how to deploy your application. And then with that, you need DSA. Okay, so choose any language and master in that. Okay. Oh, that's great. So it's not just a name, we also have a person. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't pronounce that name, but it looks like Nigita. Okay, so the last question coming on your screen, everyone. Uh, which Java wrapper class is associated, this is the question, with primitive data type int? Okay, time up and majority of you are saying integer and that is correct. Good job. And now with this we have, we have a last question. This was the last question so we'll be having a final leaderboard. So let me know in the chat, first of all, who is going to win? So I will not show the option or the winners. First you tell me who will win. Make a video on Hibernate. There's already a video on Hibernate. If you can just go to YouTube and search for Telisco Hibernate, you will get the playlist. Uh, Knowledge Ocean says a big shout out to Navin sir. His old videos, it's an emotion. Oh, thank you so much. How about the new videos? Okay, Yogi says Kranti will be the winner. Rajesh says Rajay will be the winner. Bharat says Uda is the winner. Nikita says game over. Green text game over. Uh, Kevin says Kevin is the winner. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the rank is not showed yet. Let's see. Nizamabad will win. Okay, let's see. So here we go. Uh, the final leaderboard. And let's see. Who is the winner? Okay, it's very close, very close. And it is Yashwant. From where you came, Yashwant, and that's awesome.
Okay, so congratulations, Yashwant, everyone. Can we have a round of applause for Yashwant here? Okay, there is a fly just roaming around. I don't know if you can see that in camera, but uh, it's very irritating. Okay, also, so yeah, so congratulations, Yashwant. And then we got Manish, Sai Kiran, Krant. I think it's Kranti. Uh, Anonymous, Abdullah, fastest for this round, Suraj, Nikita, uh, Uday, and Alex. Uday just went second last. Okay, 51th, 51 rank. So how was the Menti? Enjoyed? Uh, so next time, for sure. Okay, Kran from Nizamabad. Uh, can you put this video in YouTube? It's already there on YouTube. I mean, once this live gets over, it will be available on YouTube. Where is Yashwant? Okay, Yashwant is there. Your videos have are the joy to watch for me when I started my career. That's great. So what do you do now, Yashwant? Oh, thank you so much. Great. Suraj got 7th position. Uh, Shushmita 12th. You just went out in the last few questions. Yes, Anonymous, 5th place. Good job. 15th. Yeah, Menti is fun. Okay, Uday says I'm able to prove that I'm good in Java. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, that's great. I'm planning to have a meetup in Bangalore soon. So let's see if we can meet together and discuss. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, so just before we go, uh, just wanted to highlight one more time. Uh, you can check out the description for the course. And also you can check out the comment, pinned comment for the, uh, for the course link. If you have any more questions on the course. Okay, what's a mic? Okay, this is Shore mic, Shore MV7, I guess. This is the mic. We can do this type of quiz. Yeah, we should, we should. So tomorrow, let's try to have one more quiz only for the Java basics because today it was everything mixed up and few people. So what you do is, uh, tomorrow let's only have quiz on Core Java, let's say very basic till concept of uh, uh, arrays. Prepare for it. So go to my channel, prepare for Java till arrays and uh, let's play the quiz tomorrow. I have an exam, cognizant exam in 10 in day on Java SQL. So make sure that you learn Java. Also, uh, they will ask you questions based on how Java works behind the scene. Maybe they will play with some array or threads. So learn that. And SQL basics will be needed, I think. Is it possible to marry a programming language? There's no rule that you cannot. Timing, let's have the same time, 5 p.m., if that works. I know tomorrow we have a match. How many people will, I mean, cricket match, the World Cup. Yeah, 
Let's see. Okay, so this was easy. Oh, the problem is on Mentimeter, we can't have coding questions. So I can't, you can't ask you that. Uh, and then if I have a question which is a lot of text, it will be difficult to play. Okay, so looks good. Thank you so much for joining everyone for this live and see you in the next live which will be happening tomorrow. Uh, to know more information about the courses coming up. Oh, I think the green is enabled and you can't see the text here. That's a green plant. <laughs> That's not the orange plant. Oh, what's wrong? There's some setting here for the green screen. You need to disable that. Oh, now it's back. So from the start, the green screen was unable and that's why you, you were not able to see the text and also uh, the uh, plant, which is a fake plant, but it was green. Oh, thank you so much, Yogi. I hope you're enjoying the course. Kindameda Uppu, Navindra thank you so much. Cool, thank you. See you tomorrow, everyone. Have a great day, night, depending upon your time zones. Bye-bye.